This is how to spend the perfect day in Zanzibar. Good morning and welcome to the video. This is my second video on Zanzibar. So we've already swam with bottlenose dolphins. Go and check that video out if you've not seen it yet. And today we've got the main event. I'm joined by a mysterious cameraman who you'll meet very soon. And we've got these two beautiful machines to road trip the entire country with. So we've got two bikes for the day. We've got this Royal Enfield Himalayan, which looks very out of place in this environment, but it's doing a very good job. And we've got a Honda 250R road bike. So whenever I'm going over potholes, I'm in a bit of danger, but uh, Dale over here is <laughs> standing up and using the bike for its intended purpose. So plan of action today, we're actually staying on the East Coast in a place called Paje, and it's a, almost a two hour drive to the very Northern tip of the island. Yesterday, we went all the way to the Southern tip of the island, explored this incredible beach, Mtende Beach, just got familiar on the bikes. And today, the plan of action, as I said, is to go all the way to the North and we've booked swimming with horses when we get there. So there's an opportunity to get in the water and ride some horses. I've never ridden a horse before and neither has Dale, so <laughs> it's gonna be an adventure. Dale, back in business, back in the game. Back in the game. All the way from Dubai. If it moves quick, we're game. So jet skis in Dubai, dune buggies in Dubai, and now uh, on these beautiful motorbikes up the coast. And hopefully not horses, right? Like, let's hope they don't move too quickly, <laughs> yeah, because yeah, we've never done it before, but um, yeah, these are a lot of fun. Really good decision on the bike. <laughs> Get lost cause I'm waiting Summer feelings are waiting boy You and me is more than a hundred miles You and me is more than the grey sky You and me is more than lonely days It's our time to go Dance with me one more time You and me is more So we just had to battle the clock to get to Zanzibar Horse Club on time. The island's deceptively big, but we raced there and we made it, of course. Did you expect anything less? And now we're getting straight on the horses, no time to waste. You ever seen a Dalmatian horse before? One. Don't get lost cause I'm waiting. Summer feelings are waiting, boy. You and me is more than a hundred miles. You and me is more than Actually, extremely relaxing. <laughs> you having fun, Dale? Yeah, man, it's good. Crystal clear water as well. Very well behaved horses. A nice beach stroll on a Monday afternoon. I've had worse Mondays. <laughs> Safari is the name of mine. Do you know the name of yours? <laughs> Safari is a good boy. What's the name of this one? Oreo. Nice. Oreo. Oreo the Dalmatian. Oreo and Safari. Ah, the sun's coming out. Look at that water. He had a big breakfast. Like Instagram versus reality. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta say that went pretty well. Dale and I got the hang of those horses pretty quickly and uh, they didn't seem to mind having us on their backs. I'm sure they do it every day and they're well looked after as well. Powerhouses, those things. Very enjoyable, my first time swimming with a horse. Never thought I'd do that at the start of this trip. But then we sat down and had a nice lunch on the coast up there on the very northern tip of the island. And now we're taking the scenic route back. We were in a bit of a rush to get there. That's why I didn't talk to the camera before the horses because we were a bit late for our, our slot. But now we've got the rest of the afternoon to play with. It's 2 p.m. Bikes are uh, pulled over over there. And you can see 
all the kids are taking a great interest, making sure they don't nick my helmet. Not sure what they'd do with it. How did you find the horses, Dale? Good. It's yeah. Really good. Yeah. Much easier than I thought it was going to be, right? They didn't move too fast. They knew what they were doing. So. Yeah. Although I did, there were points where I was like, felt like I was going to go over the edge because yeah. they're muscular as well. So like that spine bone can knock you, <laughs> knock you either sure. way. I'll get the kids to say hello and then we'll be on our way. Let's do it. Hello. <laughs> so lover, which way have you moved? It's been a while since I've had these grooves. Cosmic love gave you something gold. So you wrap it all up and take it. Stop number one, we made it down to Matemwe Beach. We thought we'd try and take the bikes all the way down to the beach and we managed to do it. It was a bit sketchy on the sand there. Uh, Dale's trying to manoeuvre his now. His will definitely fare well on the sand, but I'm not so sure about how the Enfield's going to do. Uh, might get beached, but we're going to try, have some fun. How good was that beach driving? Oh, hey. good, really good. I haven't spoken to the camera since then. Unbelievable. And no one stops you as well. If you were to do that in a Western country, you'd just get hounded by the it's police. It's crazy what you get away with here, right? Yeah. Like they just uh, they encourage it rather than anything. Yeah, anyone there was like happy and, and, and watching us and encouraging us to rip it along the beach. So that was super fun. Got some cool shots with the 360 as well, I hope. And then take, took that palm tree scenic route all the way home. Delicious. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> uh, so we're cutting inland now. That's the end of like the, the new scenery for us. We're gonna head back to Paji and see what the rest of the day has for us. But I didn't think the scenery would be that nice with all those palm trees, did yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. It's everywhere you go, right? Every time you take a, a left or a right, we seem to get on a better road than the one before, so. <laughs> exactly, yeah. and yeah, although we, we had a bit of cloud with the, the horses, but it's been yeah, scorching we since then. Right? We made it to the sunshine, yeah, so. Exactly. So it's four, four o'clock now. We've probably got an hour to get back, I reckon. Uh, back to Paji, maybe have a dip in the sea. Go from there, see you in a bit. Well, 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 things got pretty hectic after I last spoke to camera. Literally between the last shot, about five seconds later, this decided to stop working, so the battery went completely flat. It had been threatening to do so for a little while. The red light was flashing, but we thought we could get away with it. And so it's button operated. So luckily that one is a Kickstarter, so we have no issues, but we broke down next to a petrol station. All the locals gathered around. The police offered no help at all. And we managed to, we tried to jumpstart it, didn't work, but then we got a car. Um, and some cables after. It's funny how difficult the translation of jump leads is into different languages. I didn't think that would be an issue that I'd encounter. But anyway, we got there, got it jumped, got it back to the accommodation. And since then we've played a bit of paddle, ended up having to make some donations to a local police force. and now we're back on the beach and the adventure's nearly over so and this is actually the end of the Africa series so we started off in Tanzania for a month went down to Cape Town for three weeks over to Namibia for just over a week and then finished off in this tropical paradise so it's been incredible I'll definitely be back on the continent soon uh, but for now ending the video in the best way possible we're gonna rag these two along this beautiful beach with this fine sunset in the background and I'll see you on the next adventure all right Dale Let's do this. Yeah. Yeah.